What's up guys, it's The Hunter Project here, welcome to my channel, where you'll find Monster Hunter news, builds, playthroughs and everything in between. Be sure to smash the like subscribe buttons if you do enjoy, it would be extremely appreciated as I am trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of February before the month of rise, so if everyone watching could hit that red button and also hit the notification bell, I would be extremely grateful. I know we can do it, I, the support on the previous videos were fantastic and I thank you a lot for that guys. So yeah, it would be extremely appreciated if you guys could hit the red button, but without wasting too much time, let's get right into the video. So we just got two new clips of gameplay footage with two weapon classes, being the bow and the dual blades. So starting off with the bow, it seems they are, as expected, branching off the moveset of world, so they're bringing forward all the bow combos that we got, and the dragon PSO, which is excellent as the bow moves from world were extremely well implemented and user friendly, so everyone had the option to use the weapon class. However, it does not stop there. So of course they have added some new moves to the bow. The first move that was shown is the silk bind attack, the Herculean draw, which uses iron silk to strengthen your draw, and this basically increases your attack, I assume temporarily, of course, because if it didn't that would just be a bit like a, a permanent damage increase, like a demon drug would just be a bit unusual, but that's just my assumption. It could be either or, but I feel like most likely it is temporary. Next we have the Silk Bind Attack Focus Shot which grants energy through harmony with nature and this just basically gives the user an increase in stamina recovery. These both seem really awesome and I believe there, there will be little subclasses for each weapon as the two moves in the footage seem to be under the, the, like, uh, the category of Silk Bind Attack so I do assume that we are going to have multiple different uh, styles of attack and they will all come with different moves. On the other hand, these silk bind attacks could be tied to the hunter instead of the weapon, but hopefully we will find out in the near future. So next we have the dual blades, which is a personal top weapon of mine, definitely in the top 5 weapons I use consistently. And once again, we have a bunch of returning combos from world, but we do see a new combo where they use a wire bugs above the monster's head and then transitions into the jumping spinning attack, which was new to world where you spin slice down the monster's back, which was extremely epic. The first new silk bind attack that we got for the dual blades was the shrouded vault, which gives me a very similar vibe to the adept style of monster Hunter generations. And the second silk bind attack we got was the piercing bind, which is a bit of a grounded spinning attack that gains extra attacks over the generic combo. I assume for just a juicy chunk of damage, just in a quick succession. Both of these seem to add a lot of agility to the dual blades which is awesome to see and I am specifically excited for the shrouded vault which like I said before is very similar to the adept hunter art where he would you would do like a spinning forward dive to dodge a move and it looks very similar in terms of how they've done it for this new shrouded vault silk bind attack. Of course, I don't think it's a dodge in this game. It's not an evasion in this game. Well, it's a it's a form of, of an evasion, but it is a, an attack, or at least silk bind attack kind of suggests it is. So this does bring us to the end of the footage, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons. If you haven't, it would be ex extremely appreciated. Let me know down below what you guys think of these new moves and also what your favourite weapon class is, as well as any moves that you can think of yourself that you would want a silk bind attack to be for that given weapon. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.